Good evening, humans. Trans Source Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection MMPR Metallic Yellow Ranger from Hasbro. Uh, I like things all both translucent and sparkly. This fits both of those bills, and I have been loving this version of the Rangers, and I'm just, you know, if you saw my previous reviews, you just know how I feel about this. Not only that, but each one of these definitely has a new tweak to them, and we'll get into that in a second. So let's get right into this review. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, and as you might expect uh, for the Yellow Ranger here, we pretty much have what we got with the original Yellow Ranger release, uh, just in a uh, more or less translucent plastic with glitter in it and uh, some of the pearlescent plastic. But there is an extra tweak as well, and right off the bat, that is actually the helmet. Uh, I didn't notice until I kind of paid attention over the last couple of reviews that with all these recent ones, I don't, and from what I could see, they couldn't really change it. For, they didn't really change it for pink, but uh, for yellow, blue, red, and black, they all, they improved all the helmets. And, uh, you know, as we can see the sculpt here, uh, a little more rounded, the teeth are a little closer together. And here's the original release and kind of seeing those side by side, like definite difference. They kind of made them look a little more uh, screen accurate, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, that was unexpected and just a really welcome addition. But beyond that, again, this this shade of translucent yellow is fantastic. Uh, really love the way the glitter kind of shimmers in it. Uh, not only that, but the uh, diamonds kind of get a nice gold paint here and just really pops. It's a really nice looking figure. And uh, yeah, just all the, all the metallics are great. And you know, the other, the redone helmet is definitely a very welcome addition. So that is aesthetics. When it comes to accessories, we are getting pretty much a similar loadout to what we got with the other metallic rangers. So let's take a look at that, uh, starting with the um, the effects piece. And we get this kind of cool magenta, uh, like electric spark piece. It looks really nice. Uh, just kind of goes into one of the daggers. Then we get, uh, let's look at hands. So we get right out of the box our grippies, as we generally get. A nice pearlescent plastic. And then we get a right claw hand. Again, I kind of wish we got both a left and a right for the claw hands to get that, that signature pose, but it is what it is. And then we get a left chopping hand. And moving on, we get the Zeo crystal. Again, these glow in the dark. Uh, and you can see it's the uh, rectangle shape that Aisha had. And then we get our blaster. Same as it has been with pretty much all of them in the uh, red plastic with a little bit of white paint. Then we get the signature daggers done really well in a nice yellow translucent plastic with some really nice bright silver paint. Uh, details are all there as they have been from before. And then finally we get a new Aisha head, uh, a great likeness of actress Karen Ashley. And uh, you know the, the hair just looks really, really nice here as well. So just really well done all around. Again, they can continue to keep doing great with these likenesses and they keep improving, especially when they get to do more than one head for a particular character slash actor. So that is accessories. When it comes to articulation, of course we are more or less in line with what we got with the original release, but regardless, we are gonna break it down as we always do. So starting at the head, we're getting up really, really nice. We are able to bury the chin, uh, come to the middle, get a wee wee bit of tilt, which is kind of nice. We have really nice butterfly joints here at the arms. They're not moving. Uh, mine are a little stiff out of the box, so just be aware of that. Then we come to the arms and we are coming up to our T-pose. Uh, no bicep swivel, but we are single jointed on the elbows, bringing us to 90 and we're gonna get our swivel there. And then we have hinge and swivel at the wrist, uh, everything horizontal. Then we have our ball joint at the diaphragm, so we're coming all the way around. Combine that with the ab crunch at the waist and coming forward about that far. Coming back really, really nicely. Then we come to the hips and really nice range, not full splits, but definitely decent. Then we have our thigh swivel, our double jointed knees, bringing us to about there. We got boot cut. We have really nice point. We have really nice forward. And then of course that classic Hasbro rocker, and that's articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here she is with some other Lightning Collection figures. With some other Hasbro. With some imports. 
with some monsters. Finally, with Articulated Icons Oni and yours truly in human form as an Articulated Icons Ninja. So my final thoughts on the uh, Power Rangers Lightning Collection MMPR Metallic Yellow Ranger is that another great figure from the Lightning Collection. And, you know, as, as you possibly know by now, I uh, have a predilection for all things translucent and sparkly, so this hits those notes for me. Uh, if that is not your thing, then this is definitely going to be an easy pass. However, if that is your thing and the, uh, pardon me, the corrected helmets definitely kind of call to you, then absolutely pick this up. They are currently available on Hasbro Pulse. They are exclusives to Hasbro Pulse. And uh, yeah, as far as I know, they're still up there. So, you know, if you want it, go get it. And I will leave a link in the description below so you can just go straight there from here. And uh, yeah, I guess that being said, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this review uh, informative and somewhat entertaining. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and or sharing. And beyond that, if you want to help in other ways, I will have other ways to help. Uh, down in the description below as well. So yeah, uh, ultra thanks to you one last time for watching. I hope you take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and most importantly, stay weird, Simeons.